Okay, in Alexam part 3, we're going to build in some additional features to our multimedia product that will allow us to control sound on the stage by switching buttons on and off. The plan is to bring two buttons onto the stage, one will call sound on, one will call sound off. Bring the sound into the library, make the sound executable so that we can use ActionScript to make the sound start and stop, put the code onto the buttons, and then of course save and test our uh, flash moving. Okay, well as you can see I've already bought a blue bubble button from the common libraries onto the stage. Now let's bring uh, a green one onto the stage. So we'll bring that one on and I want to edit it. So we'll go in, we'll unlock the text layer, we'll go to the text, we'll use the text tool and let's make this say Let's bring the sound onto the uh, stage. So we we'll go import, import to stage, and we know on my machine this often takes a, a while. So here's the sound. Let's open that. And the sound has come into the library. What we must now do is we now need to make that. Uh, executable. So what I did, I'll do that again. You right click, go to properties and this brings up this panel. Now it might be on basic so open up the advance and we need to make it so that action script can be written to that particular sound. Drag sound so we'll click OK and we're now ready to put the code onto the button. OK here's the code then that we want to use on release my sound is a new sound so my sound is the variable we want to attach a sound to this particular named variable which is called name of file dot wav and then having released the button the particular variable we want it to start playing when it has been released equally when we click the stop button on release we want it to stop the sound playing my sound we want it to stop it in the actions panel then of the start sound button I'm going to paste the code now you will obviously need to type this in I now need to go to the stop button find the stop code that I need on release let's copy that put that onto the stop button and a little check of the blue stick tick just to make sure everything's fine and we're ready to test the movie Okay, well you may notice that I pasted the wrong name in there, so I've changed that to drag sound space 0 0.1 wav, and with the sound turned up, let's we can test the movie, control, test movie, and no sound, but when we click start sound. In this activity, the four numbers at the bottom of the page can be dragged by the mouse. And if we click there, it stops. Um, now this feature is really useful when you want to provide people with um, support within your multimedia product to uh, help them understand what they've got to do. You could have a picture of um, a speaker that they need to click uh, so they can follow some simple instructions.